returning back to the Pro 12 after an exciting and ruthless two-legged encounter with Zebri in European Championship Rugby. Now though, they have to keep things at that top level. They cannot afford to let up as a Pro 12 does have a big log of teams waiting to pounce on a weakened Munster if they do let their guard drop. Hello everyone and welcome on to Cormac Scrooby, home of Rugby Challenge 3 in the Nathan Nichols Beer Pro Series. We look at him in the lineup. He is a miniature of a man, Nathan Nichols, lining up for Munster. Today, we are up against the Ospreys, who are looking to climb their way out of the doldrums of the Pro 12. A poor season so far, but we know and we've seen that counts for little when it comes to big game matchups like this. So through this side, now, front row, you'd probably say Fia would be their main strike with Smith and Perry alongside him at one and two. It's their back, so you've got to look out um, for Weber, who will run things at 10. O'Donoghue on the left wing and Vailala on the right look to be dangerous and explosive runners as well. The man um, that we really got found out against was the man in the inside centre role for Zebri King sits there alongside John so those guys certainly could cut this monster side up in the area that we've found distinct weakness for our team now here is monster the team as far as I'm aware again is unchanged we've gone pretty well with injuries so far a couple have suffered throughout we've had a couple of wingers change around Sosa going to the right wing Thompson to the left of the injuries uh, we've got Herb at 10. He's playing very, very well too with Moyle inside him at scrum half. The whole pack is forming nicely as well. We've got a very mobile back row, which lends us to a lot of explosive running through the middle of the park. We'll need another big performance, so the Ospreys will be looking to take us to the cleaners and to really take advantage of a tough last week or two in the matchups against Zebri. Of course, Nathan Nichols will be lining up at fullback at number 15. Jumper, captain, uh, play kicker, goal kicker, everything to do it. For this Munster side, we are good to go. And underway we are. Osprey's kicking off. And they go short and it's straight in and straight to Sheriff who pulls that in for Munster. And Nathan Nichols jumps into his first breakdown of the match. There's a good little pick and go there from Dick Kelly on his well, hey, We've lost that ball. I didn't even look. I was winning at sea. Who was playing in the team? And oh, we've got a straight back though. Nathan looking this side. He breaks through one tackle. He's coming nicely away. And it's there for Thompson. Thompson shimmies and shakes. Gets it outside. And it's a good run here from Gibson. We're looking all right. They spin that ball back, boys. Let's go short side. So shit to me. To me, to me, to me. Nicely. I like it. I've got Thompson. I want to use Thompson. Oh. We can't afford to make these mistakes, Nathan. Two on one overlap, Thompson. You've got to run with me. That is frustrating. Extremely frustrating. I don't want to be too far in the line because you're probably going to kick. I'll just sit here on the 10 meter line, I think. What are you going to do, Ospreys? Inside pass. This is their first time with ball in hand. Oh, he turned it over again. Moyle does brilliantly. Nathan runs some deep. Gets the ball out wide. Vendor goes one more to Sosa. Sosa bumps one off as well. Good work. Oh, we sit inside the 22. Nathan goes to second or third to Seaman. It's a terrible little run away from Castex. Nathan gets in, gets absolutely mugged. Not the ball he wanted there at all. And going backwards as well. No, not good at all for us. Now they'll kick. No one's home back there either. But it is a pretty crappy kick. And it's gone straight to touch. Oh, that is frustrating. Good opportunity for us there to put some points on the board. We've faulted. Oops, where it's really mattered. I am in the line, but I'm scared we're not going to win this line out ball. Taking an eternity to throw that in with Kelly on, and now he's lost it as well. Now they come out wide, the Ospreys. Good ball out there too. We said these guys are dangerous, but Nathan wraps him up and turns him over. And he breaks away. Loses the ball though quickly, and you can't say that's a surprise. Still though, He's being held down in the breakdown. Sosa is flying back. And this ball, thank goodness, goes dead in goal. Wow. That was almost a tragedy. If that Crouch. sat up in the end goal, there Fine. was two of three Ospreys players 
who are very Six. close. We are not playing well at all. How's the scrum going to fare? Our line out's a bit dodge. What is a scrum? Oh, good hit, boys. Yes. Now, Moyle. Herve. Runs back inside. And where's oh, that gone? Is that gone to Sushet? I can't quite tell. We've lost Grace. it either way. Terrible, terrible interplay between the forwards here. But stolen straight back. And Everson. No, it goes wide. Good ball there. Here's Nathan Nichols. In behind. He's got Herve. He does not want to use Herve. And can you blame him? Burn with Thompson. Now he backs himself to go all alone. Nathan Nichols scores try number one. And Munster take the lead in the match. Boy, we've had some really big games here for Munster recently. We've suffered some losses. Well, we are hitting back hard. The Osprey side, though, they're not traveling that high up the leaderboard. So. You've got to say, this is a game we should be demanding to win, seeing as we are second in the table. But a good play from Suchet there. The tight head prop, taking the tackle and freeing up the space for this young man, Nathan Nichols, who scorches through for yet another try. He'll take the conversion as well, right in front. Slots that brilliantly. We've just over caught him now. Gone at a 7 0. Munster. Leading us race. Interesting, it is their fullback who's doing the kicking. If they score a try, I wonder if he'll be doing the kicking as well. It's kick off from us race, and it's all oh, just about left alone. Get in there, boys. Get us that ball. I, I like where we're sitting right here. I don't want to prepare for a kick. Moyle, you should have passed that. Oh, no! No, not Moyle! Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, shake of the head from Moyle. How yeah, interesting this is. Devos is coming on. But this is going to shake up the team for our next match. Now, I'm pretty sure this young lad is not a scrum half by... Crouch. Find. Default. Set. By natural... Position. Oh my god, look at that scrum! That is just ruthless! Here we go, boys. Herb misses Nichols out. And Thompson gives it back to him, and Nichols just gets away. Wants to take on the fullback. Bit of a ball. And away goes Castex giving it back inside to Rock. We had someone with a few wheels. We could have done something brilliant there. Come on, Sushet. Oh, that wasn't mine. Oh, it's been knocked on. What a shame. A little grubber would have been good there. He could have slotted straight through, but yeah, big, big tackle. Crouch. Mistake coming from Fine. Munster. 21 gone. Set. Ospreys get a chance to attack. I think we will go back here. You just go in a little bit, Sosa. Well, our scrum's been good. It's been good on our own pudding. Are they going to kick? No, they're going to run. I'll stay up. Uh oh. Sosa runs, Sosa. Got to do something special there, my friend. Here come the Ospreys again. A little pick and go. Turn the ball over. No, 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 no. Oh, that's not bad. I can't live with that. I'm going to chase it. Chase it hard. Put pressure on the full back. Damn it. Is that... Oh, what a call from the ref. Dead ball by the Ospreys. And we're going to have a five-minute scrum. He's hit a mere. He's hit an absolute Shit. nightmare there. Good stuff. I mean, this is what changes games, isn't it? Stupid little decisions like that. The ball was still in play. He was out. Oh, how do you do it, referee? He is stonewalling it. Herb. Cut out pass going twice the and wide. And here's another chance. Big ball out to Sosa. And there is try number two. Had to happen, didn't it? Goodness me. We had numbers. We had holes. We had gaps. It was just a, a matter of who was going to take it. Marcos Sosa, he gets the try. Herb did brilliantly. Cut it out nicely to Vidler out there. And the rest was history. Is whipped on the ball from Munster. I love it. Often we stand far too narrow. Look at Herb. Still has blonde facial hair and black head hair. He is a disgrace to humanity, that guy. But as for Marcos Sosa, look at him. You've got to give the guy credit. 
This facial hair match is just normal hair. I mean, it's not some mug that just... Oh, what? Harv is an idiot. But we'll let him away with it because he's... He's doing well for the boys in red. Speaking about doing well in red, it is Nathan Nichols. One try conversion. He'll look to add two. And he does. Great kick from the sidelines by Nathan Nichols. And it's 14 0. And it is all one way to the boys in red. Munster lead 14 zip. The Ospreys really haven't fired a shot here, which is surprising the way that teams have been playing against us recently. Oh, that is a good take. We have been far quicker in the breakdown. As you see, that wasn't a good example. That's a great offload, though. Nathan gets up and he makes his second tackle. Nice. Now, remember, we've got to make five, so I'll keep that in mind. Let's help out here. Put it's got a touch. Oh, yes. Love that power. And Barry, I think it was, is going into touch. Nothing there for him. Right, now, think about our line out here, team. It's been pretty crap. So I'm changing it up to a three-man line out to see if we can to fix it. De Calion has the throw. They've all gone way, way back. We've won it. Good job. I like it. Excellent work. I'll stay on the short side, Sushet. No, it's not Sushet. We do go wide, and it's popped up. A good kick. A very good kick. A very nice kick. Nathan is flying, and it's the Ospreys fullback flying, and I'll beat them all. Wow. Does it? Yes, it does. Goodness me. That was a bit close. Exceptional kick there. I didn't even catch who it was from, but it was very, very good. Regardless. Now we put pressure on the line. Oh, yes! We do! And we steal it straight back! Come on, boys! Get another one. Nichols looking for a second. Short ball. Away it goes. Dicey to Rook! Nichols just gets kept running. I don't know why he did that. It's partially my fault. To Kelly on. Oh, high tackle. High tackles. Get him off, ref. Yes! Yellow card! Let's see into the Ospreys. You will not see a fight back from them now. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. What do we do? I mean, yellow card, man in the bin, penalty right in front of the sticks. It's tempting. But I want to try. I, I really, really want that bonus point. It's going to become a huge part of our season. Nathan. Oh, he smacks it. Just perfectly. Oh, so nicely into the corner. Now, come on. Talk about it, boys. We have to win this line out. We've got to score here. We put pressure on ourselves because we've gone for this option. Just the one jump it. It is Ashley. Who takes it? Oh, no! Oh, why do we have that tool at scrum half? Can't believe it. Advantage over. Oh, advantage is over. Nichols. Still a chance here. He just runs it straight at the first defender. Oh, I don't even know that guy's name anymore. There goes the buzzer. Do not kick it out, Sushet. Let's go wide. It's not really the mean one out there doing the job, and oh, I just could not even pass that. De Kelly on. Oh, nice ball away, and it's Charles of Gibson. Gibbo going himself. Help him out, team. Get in there. Get in there. Do not lose this ball. Where do we want to go? Short side? I don't mind that chance. Oh, no. We'll go back short side. Sushet does well. In there, in there, in there, in there. Yes, thank you. Rook again. Oh, Rook is very... Oh, no! Not again! Damn it. Should have taken the three. Double knock on. And it's really all over. Sushet goes for a bit of a scamper. Damn it. Should have taken the three. Should have taken the three. I've got a little bit confident, a little bit cocky there. Thought we could put a try on and put three on the board and really put this game to bed at half time. Wow! Look at those stats 75% possession, 60% territory. We've really hammered their scrum. They've got a yellow card, which now will be back on the field because it's half time. Oh, I can't believe we couldn't make that tell. We've made half the tackles. And we only, well, I mean, we only lead by 14. But do you say only? Because we do lead quite convincingly. Two tries to nothing. We have dominated this game. We've hardly seen our half, uh, let alone our 22. And we do go quite nicely with a two-try lead. 
This game can change so quickly. Second half, about to get underway. Ospreys, nil. Munster, 14. Should have taken the three. Oh, boy, I hope we don't regret that. Oh, I hope we don't regret that. Nathan Nichols gets us back underway. A high kick to the right-hand side. The Ospreys defense. Oh, that's a well-taken ball, too. Nichols gets involved, and they break down the uh, short side, down the left side of attack, and they keep it going, too. They are in behind. It's their hooker doing a very good job, but Nathan shuts that down on the run back. And they had plenty of numbers out there too. Couldn't make it work. They still have numbers out here. Plenty of them. Nichols looking to make them pay. He covers across Grace. nicely. And oh, wanted to turn that ball over. He's caught up though. There's no one back, which is a bit of a, oh, an issue. Oh my goodness me. Well, uh, Tonga Ruhila, um, God, you don't, don't do that again. Just, just, just don't. Don't ever kick the ball again, please. That was so awful. We have turned over the line now, though, which is very nice. What are we going to do with it? Oh, don't give it to me. I'm not really expecting... Oh! I wasn't expecting that. I somehow shifted it. Didn't really intend to shift it there, but we have lost the ball again. The man going backwards in the tackle. Straight through as they go. Uh-oh, we are in a bit of strife here. He's gone inside. Now he goes outside. Nichols. Oh, he didn't use the man. He didn't use the man. And Nichols takes him to ground. Great defense. But here come the Osprey. Straight through the middle. Nichols just getting up now from that last contact. We've got three on two defenders here. It's got to be a turnover. How is there not a turnover? Sit at the back, Nathan. Wait for them to break. Don't get through there. Oh, turnover! And back we go to the boys in red. We're going to win this ball without actually competing for it. I like that. Okay, complete turnaround to Thompson. Out here, Tomo. Tomo. Out to me, Tomo. Oh, whoever's got it now. I think it's Ashley. Oh, what's going on there, guys? Oh, why didn't you hold on to that a bit better? Oh, I like that tackle from Nathan. Good work. Release. Making a lot of defensive work here. No one to back. We're really holding our cards close here. Trying to force them to make the playoffs race. Our wide defense, exceptional. Our ruck commitment's not even high. They're not going to kick. They don't need to be this far back. They need to shut down any Grace. attacking plays instantly. Pick and go. All wide. Here's a chance down for the Ospreys. No one's home here. here. I just placed our wise defense. Now wide defense, and now they keep going. One and two, back and forth, big tackle. Get out of my 22. Yep. You be angry all you want, little man. You just got smashed. Right, inside our own 22. Big, big line out here. Oh, we've won at the back. Very nicely played two from Sheriff. I wouldn't mind this ball to just get rid of it, please. Oh, that is a just dreadful kick. Oh, it is ugly. Ugly, ugly, but we've come up nicely. And it's outside our 22 now. 10 meter line, which I guess isn't so bad. God, I just, I just had to thump it somewhere, didn't I? Oh, oh, great tackle to carry on. He's done very well there because we were done. If he didn't make that tackle. Will you stay down there, Thompson, and we'll pendulum like the real teams do. No, no pendulum? Okay, I'll just do it by myself. That's fine. Oh, turnover. Screw the pendulum. We're on attack. And away we go. Thompson, again doing the hard work. He is a great little player. I wouldn't mind taking him with us wherever we go. That's a turnover. Oh, yep, can see that one straight away. And break, they go again. It is all Ospreys at the moment. We hold them off. How have they not scored? I don't know. We are so miles on the back foot here. Big numbers on the left. They chose not to use them. This could be a turnover. No. Oh, who's back with me? Sosa, the try scorer. He's got one to his name already. They come wide. We use the numbers brilliantly. And again, we shut that down. Short one off ball. Oh, he did well. He drew Nichols in. And he breaks through three tackles. That was almost the end of us. Oh, we're not set. Oh, the pass. Release. 
Oh, wow, we are on the big back foot here. How do we make it work? He's going to run straight at us. They come wide. We've got a scamper. We've got a run. Oh, he stopped it on. Unbelievable. He has stopped it on. And we're on our own line here. Nichols is playing scrum half. Box kick. Oh, that is such a... Over. That is such a bad box kick. Why is that advantage Please. over? Oh, no. My kicking game is so weak today. Get in there, get in there, get in there, turn it over. Oh man, how long do we hold Munz up? Or do we hold Ospreys out for here? I don't know. Turn over. The Ospreys attack some more. Oh, they changed directions. That looked a bit dodgy. We're not even on a high ruck commitment. What is going on here? Looks like we are. They were throwing every man this dog as he's break down. There's a wide ball. Sosa! Work to do. He shuts it down. Ball's out. Ball's out, ref. No. <laughs> Oh no, they come wide again this way. It's Thompson. Thompson's going to make it work. No, he can't stop him. And again, it's the centers. We talked about these centers doing it. Oh, should have taken the three. What an idiot. Ben John scored. Well done too. It was these wide passes. Thompson just couldn't keep him out. Well played to the Ospreys. I liked it. It was entertaining. It was exciting. It was a long period where Munster just could not do anything right. And the Ospreys finally capitalized Warren Mitchell. We'll look to knock over an extra couple. That could be important. Oh, he does too. He's not a bad little kicker, this fella. He's done well. Done well, Warren. 14-7 the score. It's taken them that whole half to score that try, which is okay. But, I mean, we were, we were looking bonus points. We were looking too big, far too big. Good chase, Nathan. Turn over. Turn over, please. No, not quite. Oh, actually... Get in there, boys. No, not interested. Okay. Is there a kick coming here? Might be. No, they're going to do a lot of ranger. They break out too. Release. Do we hang on? Man, their three points would have been the ultimate difference as well. We'd have been sitting here feeling safe, knowing that we've got the game in the bag, rather than going, they could draw this late on. And they do come very wide. It's a big piece of work to do for Thompson. And he does it. He does it again. He's been exceptional. Thompson on the left. Sosa's been not bad on the right. I uh, haven't seen much from our centers, but overall we have been very, very good. This ball is oh, just midway. 22-10 meter line. Well, that, it's a kick. Is that a drop goal? I was too far away to really see. Return comes in from Ospreys and it's gone into touch. A little bit of ground added on there. A little bit extra for the home team. And they look to test our line out once more. Oh dear. Tense. Nail biting finish to this one. Oh no, we should be winning this way. Ugh. Ease really, with these I should say. That's why they come yet again. Pass thrown back on the inside. Turn over, turn over. Oh no, I've done it again. Second time this match. Castex. You go in the naughty book with Tonga Ruhila. Don't do that again. Half a minute to go. Oh, I can't. Oh, we turn it over. We turn over the line out. Suck on that, Ospreys. Here's Sushi. Kick it out, kick it out, kick it out. Uh-oh. He's kicked it straight down the white line. That's a good kick, too. This is going to be a chance for us. It bounces up and sits up. And it's put down in the end goal. The Ospreys can see. I thought they would have ran. Why not? What have you got to lose? A bonus point, I guess. But that is a victory for Munster. Oh, jeez. Take the three. Lesson learned. Always take the three. The game could have been put to bed. I knew Ospreys were going to come back in the second half. And they did too. They 
dominated that second half of the Ospreys. Try to John. Conversion by Mitchell. Sosa and Nichols scored for Munster. It promised a lot. Munster up 14-0 very, very early, but uh, not much come from the rest of the game. The Ospreys finally got into the groove, and they almost, they almost completely turned it around. 14 points to 7. Wow. That possession was 75-25. 51-49 turnaround. Ospreys actually overall won the possession battle. 60-40 on territory. Munster still hung on there. But goodness me, we've got it all. Moyle as well. Moyle went off injured. Almost forgot about that. Look at that tackle count too. I think it was about 36 to 17. Off the top of my head, Munster with 17 tackles. It was in the teens. It was 30 odd to, to teens. And look at that turnaround. 65 to 49. Quite remarkable from the Ospreys to dominate the second half like we dominated the first. Fortunately for us, we defended like machines in that second 40. Only led in the one try. That was enough for us to hang on. Boy, goodness me, that was close. How did Nathan go? Well, he was coasting at the start. Wow, 15 tackles. I was worried about not making five. We made 15 tackles, two handing errors. No knock on, so we did win the contest. Only one line break try scored as well. Um, overall, a hard working 80 minutes in the office for Nichols. But a win is in the bank. Only four points, but we'll take it. And that is the most important thing to keep pace. Well, I think it's the Scarlets who streak away at the moment, doing it easy. Well, things are really stepping up again here in this season with Munster. I mean, we got our tackles nice and easy, but three line breaks was a target. We only made one. We did score the try. We did make the running meters quite easily, but we didn't do the offload. But how about these stats at the bottom? We have decreases in breaking tackle and passing of 0.1 and offloading of 0.2. Decreases for not making three line breaks. That is harsh. And I guess offloads as well. That is harsh. Wow. I mean, offloads are really, really, really tricky to do. And to do them on will is not the easiest thing in the world. Positive, so a 0.5 on fitness, 0.1 on speed and acceleration, 0.3 on aggression and agility and tackling and strength. And we get a little 0.2 on mental at the end. Interesting. Interesting indeed. How do we rate? An 8.3, not brilliant, not bad. Um, adequate, we'll call it. I think that's the best way to describe that rating um, for Nathan Nichols. A 9 is good. An 8 is okay. Overall, they look pretty good. Osprey's got a good boost in ratings, as did a lot of other sides, and Munster as well, because we got the win. All right, a few other matches going on. Carter Blues getting the win over the Glasgow Warriors. Of course, we've got an injury, don't we? Yes. Lane Moyle has broken his nose, only out for two weeks. Okay, I can live with that. Uh, let's have a look at the squad. We've got a new man. Oh, it's, it's Devos. He's starting at nine now. He's a fullback. Um, okay. He can't catch too well because he dropped a sitter um, in the last game. So only 64 on handling or catching. Um, he's not the best, is he, John Devos? Surely we've got reserve scrum halves in here. Like, I mean, really... No, you're going to play fullback and fly half. I just had a thought there for a second. Um, really? No one else can play? Wow. No one else can play scrum half in this team. Everson is still out for 12 more days. Moyle will come back next week, hopefully. Um, we've still got Riley staying at 12. I think I did not note Riley being in that starting team for Everson. Despite that, Riley's still there. Really missing that A eh? and that that 912 is really looking bad now. Devos is not good. Can't wait to our second season at Munster if we have one. But this team may well improve. But alas, that is the team for our next matchup. Um, two weeks out without without Moyle. Uh, let's uh, let's have a look at the table here before we wrap up. Munster. Oh, wow. We actually lead. Didn't expect that. Scarlets. Uh, they are second. The Scarlets on 41. One point adrift of us. 
But, um, yeah, they have a game in hand. And the Ospreys have actually played one extra. So, that's interesting. Scarlets will have to make that match up. So, I guess the Scarlets will be playing when we have a bye uh, eventually. But, um, the fixtures list, what do they look like? We've got, uh, oh, oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, I didn't even see that big bit in the middle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh dear, this is big. Okay, this is big here. We've got Scarlets. We've got the Scarlets. And the Ospreys, now the Scarlets. Okay. Right, prep yourself, guys. This is going to be a big one. This is going to be the game of the season. 1v2. And if we take this one out over the Scarlets, we'll put them on two losses. And we'll actually have the initiative going into the rest of the season, which is going to be huge. Look at Zebri. Damn you, Zebri. Um, interesting. When do we go back to Europe is what I want to know. Well, there it is. We play Racing 92 in three, four matches a time. And then we play uh, Treviso. That should be it, yeah. That should be it for the group stage. So, that is the end of January. So, we're just starting January now. Um, the end of January, we will know where we sit in Europe. We've got to beat uh, Racing and we've got to beat Treviso. Big matches coming up as well. Obviously, the Scarlets this round. Glasgow, Edinburgh, two, two of the Scottish sides. And then Connacht, the Irishman, at the end in between our two European matches. Um, Going to be an interesting month of January, isn't it? Indeed. But uh, all good for Nathan Nichols. Hopefully, we stay injury-free is the most important thing. Overall, the stats. Got a lot that are right up there. 300s to start us off. A couple later on. Fitness, speed, acceleration. Passing and goal kicking all at 100. 99s for mental. We've got 99s for aggression. 97 on agility. Breaking tackles, 98. Tackling, 96. We are looking so, so good. Uh, despite the little red dots in the last performance. Overall there, contract interest. Wow, we have a lot of teams who are maxed out, don't we? Um, Storm is getting up there as well. But our opponent in Europe is the one we've got to look out for. They'll still be at the bottom, are they? No, oh no, of course the Hurricanes, they hurt our guts, don't they? Right, interesting times, won't be seeing the Hurricanes anytime soon, but that is us for today. Nathan Nichols making a, a valiant return back to the Pro 12. Heaps of this coming up, folks, so do not go anywhere. We will be having videos coming out your nose um, for the foreseeable future. So, as always, thanks for tuning in and watching. Uh, if you've noticed the series hasn't been around for a couple of weeks, yes, I do realize that that is my fault. I have been away for a couple of weeks doing some some personal things. Um, so we are back now, though, 100% back on the road with Nichols, back with the sub-series, back with everything. So you can look forward to that coming to your YouTube page in the foreseeable future as well. So until we meet again, thanks for tuning and watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.